What's up, YouTube? My name is AJ. I'm just your average college kid who loves to fix things, so I figured why not share my experiences with y'all. Here on See the Potential 1440, my goal is to fix and flip things weekly, starting with $0 purchase and compound my flips through multiple episodes. The goal is, by the end of the season, turn that $0 into $1,000 for my final flip. This week's fix and flip was an old broken rocking chair I got for free off Craigslist. I hope you enjoy. Houston, the chair is in my possession. Now I just gotta fix it, post it, see what kind of profit we can get. First things first, I had to pick up some supplies, so I headed over to the local Lowe's. To get started, I had to separate the chair slats from the broken support beam underneath. To do this, I used a small pry bar and wedged it in between each slat one at a time and slowly pried it off the beam. These slats were held in by long staples, they're about an inch and a half long and some of them were stuck a lot harder than I thought they'd be, but in the end I got them all off undamaged, which was the one thing I was really trying to avoid. Next, I took the beam and put it together as close as I could to the original form, and then I traced it out on my scrap scrap wood to cut out the new beam that I was going to use to replace it. After I had the pattern traced out, I had to cut it out and uh, stabilize the board somehow, so as you can see, I had to use my leg. I sanded it up and put it on, and it fit great. So, on to sanding down the uh, rest of the chair so I can restain it and finish it off and make it look pro. What looks to be about 30 seconds of sanding for you guys ended up actually being about an hour and a half in real life. It took forever, but it was worth it in the end. I had to use my hand because it couldn't fit a sander in all these little tight spots and details, so you know, I had no option but to sand by hand. Next was the staining. I chose to do the seat first just to see how it would lay and how the final result would be after 15 minutes of waiting. I waited 15 minutes for this stain because I wanted it to be as dark as possible to give it that really rich look like an old classic chair. It turned out great. From then on I did the rest of the chair and this was one messy project. I uh, always remember to wear clothes you don't mind getting dirty. Thankfully I didn't get anything on my good shirt but it was dripping like crazy everywhere else. But uh, another thing that was tough about this was since the chair was so large, by the time I had finished just applying the coat, it had been 15 minutes so I had to immediately turn and wipe off the coat that I just put on. But it uh, ended up being perfect timing and the chair came out great. Altogether, it's a great restoration. So did we make money in week one? Well, all the supplies I had to buy totaled up to $18.52. I ended up selling that chair on Facebook Market for $70, so my profit was $51.48. Tune in next week to see the next flip as I roll this profit into the next buy and hopefully make more. Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. That was a fun restoration on that rocking chair. If you guys have any thoughts or questions, you know, let me know down in the comments. I'll get back to them as soon as I can. And uh, if you guys want to see me flip something next week, there's something you have in mind, let me know. Um, I just want to leave you with the thought that there's, there's 1,440 minutes in every day. What are you doing with your time to use it most effectively? And always remember to see the potential because you could turn nothing into something. You never know. Until next week.